Welcome to MechLord Games! Hey, what is going on guys? MechLord Games here today. Um, coming at you with a bit of a, uh, bit of a, just like a little bit of a thank you for those of you, you know, who have been uh, supporting me, you know, in all my streams and all the things that I do, and I absolutely love it. But, I'm sure some of you guys have been wondering, you know, why have I not streamed these last couple days? I, you know, my last stream was six days ago, and... You know, I have just been taking some time with my girlfriend. She is starting university, uh, college for you American guys. Um, but she's starting university, and I've just been spending a little bit of time with her before she has to get back to school, um, which is unfortunate that she has to. And I've also been working on a uh, an archetype. So I'm just going to go ahead and give you guys a little bit of a sneak preview of what this archetype is going to be. So I'm calling it Galactic Knights. Now. Let's go into... where is it? 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 I, I'm going to pull up my card listing. But it's called Galactic Knights. Now, they are extremely unique in a lot of ways that other people simply would not, you know, expect it to be. So, they are level 4 light warrior type monsters. And you're probably thinking, oh god, they're going to be like Knights. No! They are different than Sitar Knights. So I only have two cards created right now. I'm thinking of a few cards for them, and I'm going to, well, my girlfriend is going to be doing the art for them, you know, as she has the time. So anyway, the first monster that we have is Galactic Knight Centurion. It is a level four light effect monster. 1900 attack. When this card is normal or special summon, you can add one Galactic Knight monster from your deck to your hand, and if you do, then you can add one Galactic Knight spell card from your deck to your hand. So normal, you summon it and you get a plus two, which is pretty OP. This is going to be the strongest monster of the deck, is like the strongest monster of the main deck as far as what it does. So during either player's turn when your opponent normal or special summons a monster or monsters, you contribute this card to destroy the monster or monsters. It cannot be used for the summon of a synchro or XYZ monster. So, that in general means that you can't you can't XC spam with this deck. It's not possible. You can fusion with this deck, and they will actually have their own specific set of fusion monsters. So it's going to be a light warrior fusion based deck, and some of the monsters are going to have tribute effects that do things and react to certain things that your opponent does. So that's that's Centurion. And then we have Galactic Knight Imperator. Uh it is a level 4 light, 1800 attack warrior. Now, once per turn, you can special on a galactic knight monster from your hand. You can send this card and one of the galactic knight monster you control to the graveyard to fusion summon a galactic knight fusion monster from your extra deck. This card cannot be used for a synchro or XC summon. So, with that said, uh, they're going to be working on... Well, they're going to be based off of fusion stuff, which is pretty unique because there is not any light-based warrior decks that revolve around fusioning. You have a bunch of Xyz decks, you have Constellars, and you have... what is it? Uh, Teller Knights as being like the big deck. So I've been working on coming up with this idea and um, just like kind of like coming up with like this idea you know I've, I've been wanting to make an archetype for a while and I wanted to do something a bit more unique that is different than a lot of other archetypes that I've seen so this is going to be an archetype set and design that focuses itself off of doing things that like basing itself off of like being able to react what the opponent does very very similar in a manner to um, in a manner to uh, what is it Trying to think of it there. Um, Cyframes. There we go. <laughs> Figured it out. Cyframes. So it, it's going to work very similar to Cyframe in being able to work off of what your opponent does, being able to attribute itself to negate the stuff, destroy stuff, whatever. Whatever those effects lie to you. But it's not going to be a deck that waits for for the opponent to do anything entirely, this deck can do things independently on its own. And that's what's going to be pretty interesting about this archetype. So let me know what you guys think about this archetype. Um, like I said, 
Uh, I will start streaming again here very shortly after my girlfriend, you know, finally gets settled in with schooling and everything. I will start streaming again. So for those of you who have subbed for streams and then have unsubbed, you know, I feel really sorry for you guys because you guys were like, oh, we enjoy the streams. Well, I enjoy it too. Just you need to realize that I have been a little bit busy these last couple days. So if you guys, you know, can't tolerate that I do have a bit of a life, then I, I do apologize. But you need to realize that I have a life same with everyone else. So I will see you guys in the next video, and hopefully I will end up streaming tomorrow. But it is Saturday, so I'm not entirely sure if I'm actually going to or not. I don't know. But we'll see what's going on, guys. Catch you later.